So the first point is, um, I think progress continues to be made on all the levels of recovery. Um, I want to assure people that the uh, level of work going into uh, land decisions for people who are currently in green, orange and white zones uh, is uh, very, very intense. It's involving a lot of people uh, and we're moving as quickly as we can, but with the, uh, the sort of caution that's necessary when you're talking about such significant assets uh, in people's lives. We would hope that uh, while the timelines have been missed for decisions in Brooklands and uh, Spencerville, uh, that we can pull that together uh, in the not too distant future uh, and uh, give, give greater clarity about um, uh, the future for those people. Um, the demolitions program Roger may mention, but it is on track, you're seeing a lot of it. It's been uh, a bit of interest this week in, uh, you know, what, in, in the whole heritage issue. My only comment there is that uh, safety is paramount in these matters, uh, that is public safety. We want to get the CBD opened up as quickly as possible. That does mean that you have to minimise the amount of barricade that remains around buildings. We know that the larger buildings are going to take a longer period of time to remove and they will be specifically barricaded. Uh, but there are others where um, you know, you could barricade off large areas, but that seems to be, uh, would, would be at quite a penalty to everybody else having access to the city. So um, the real message I think for people who want to save buildings that have that title heritage is put together projects make sure they're funded uh, and, and uh, fit the, the basic uh, set of criteria that are in the draft CBD plan um, and then we could talk about a program. But at the moment the idea that simply because a building has a tag put on it by a group of people who are interested in it uh, circumvents the rights of the owner to do what is necessary and uh, should cause Sarah to set aside its issues around public safety are not strong enough. Um, with those uh, remarks, I think uh, uh, there's nothing further to say other than I continue to encourage people to get down to the fan zone on the weekends uh, to watch the matches. It can be a lot of fun. It's going to be a particularly good place to be during the quarterfinals and semi-finals, uh, and uh, you know there's an opportunity for Christchurch to share a little bit of the excitement around the Rugby World Cup with the rest of the country. Roger. Uh, bus tours, we hope, we're doing quite a lot of work on the bus tours at the moment, we hope to make some really tangible announcements next week, giving some real detail, but they'll be happening just as soon as we can get them going. But we expect them to be Saturdays and Sundays when there's um, less demolition work um, and it's easy to get round, but I'll have more to say about that next week. Um, in Cash or Mall, all the demolitions have now been completed um, and we are, uh, we are on track to have completion finished by uh, 29th of October. So show weekend, it's looking like it's going to be, um, it is actually going to happen. Um, I think you've all sort of observed, we've got the cordons much smaller than they were. Um, but April next year, the red zone should be gone completely. But there'll still be a few buildings that'll still be cordoned off as we complete the demolitions. So these are the really large complex ones like the Grand Chancellor and some of those sort of places. Um, We've identified, we think there's about 1,200 buildings that need to come down. So far, of buildings that have been demolished, we've got 642 completed demolitions. 502 of them are complete demolitions, and the other um, 140 are partial. So um, there's 112 demolition works currently underway. So the numbers are pretty, pretty big. Um, significant buildings. Um, two significant buildings have come down in the last week. That's the Video Production Centre at 151 Worcester but also Bishop, Bishop's Park at 100 uh, Park Terrace. But there's a further 19 of those significant buildings are underway, 13 are being tendered or reviewed, um, and we're waiting a response from owners for another two of those. Um, Grand Chancellor staff possessions have all been removed now, and over the next uh, few weeks, those precast concrete panels will be removed from the north face, and uh, there's going to be some external stairs put up so you can get up onto the roof. I'm sure you'll all be keen to join me on that walk. Um, and the last thing was just we've got this um, earthquake um, drop-in centre over at the Avondale Golf Club. 
and that's really primarily for red zone people who want more information, who want to talk to insurers, who want to talk to banks, who want to talk to EQC, who want to talk to us. We've now had our thousandth visitor through there. So that's actually been um, really successful. So a, a total of 1,064 people have visited that and there's been like 1,400 um, individual consultations. Lastly, just on the red zone, I've just got my numbers on the red zone. Can I reach across your hands? Um, we've now completed something like, where are we? Well, so far, um, 312 people, no, where is it? 440 have selected option one. 773 have selected option two. And we've done, how many transactions have we got here? 21 have been settled. Uh, we've got another 113 underway and 473 are expected in the next four weeks. So that, that program is well underway.